what is going on guys Brian or creations here today time I'm recording this video it is Saturday afternoon and I gotta tell you I'm enjoying the freaking weekend it is long deserved and long waited um, I've been absolutely grinding the gym and work this week as well as schoolwork and everything trying to graduate this April and uh, it's it's been a rough a rough month to say the least getting back into the gym and work and score grind and all that stuff but let me know in the comments section down below I know this video is going up on Monday obviously but let me know how your guys weekend was if it was good bad had work didn't have work things like that I guess I'm just curious but anyways the gameplay you guys are watching in the background is a 29 and 2 TDM gameplay with the Boar Strike Elite IMR and I kinda wanna talk about this gun um, I don't know the specific stats on it, I have to pull up the game, but it is an elite version of the IMR, and to me, the IMR and the ARX seems like a very underused assault rifle in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Actually, up until about a week ago, I had never really even used the IMR or ARX more than once or twice, because I thought, well, you know, obviously the BAL is one of the best guns in the game, if not the best assault rifles, and the ASM-1 is absolutely dirty, best SMG in the game, if not the best gun, and I figured, what's really the point of trying other guns out, because up until that point, like I said, Cold Duty Advanced Warfare, in my opinion, never really had that good of gun balance in their game. And I tried out the IMR, and I was actually really, really surprised. Now, obviously, I was lucky enough to get an elite version of the IMR, the Boar Strike, but I was really surprised at the stopping power this thing had. I, I think the only drawbacks on this gun is the uh, amount of time you have to wait before you can shoot another burst is a little bit. Um, obviously, it shoots slower than the ARX, which is a three-burst assault rifle. The IMR is a four burst assault rifle, so the time in between shots is a little slow. You do want to hit your first burst on the person, but if you do hit all four bullets the first burst anywhere on their chest or head or even ligaments, if you hit all four bullets, they go down right away. So it actually has pretty good stopping power on the gun. One other thing that is a little bit of a problem on the gun itself, at least the elite version of the gun, I wouldn't say the regular version, but the elite version has a lot of recoil. So I have to use grip on it, which usually isn't something I would do on a burst rifle because usually they don't have that much recoil but the elite version of the IMR or the boar strike whatever you'd like to call it does have some recoil on it unfortunately so I do run grip as well as red dot because I really don't like the iron sights on the IMR I don't think they're bad but they're not for me preference wise I guess I would say and then the third attachment I always run on every assault rifle in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is definitely the stock um, so that's my setup on the IMR, red dot, grip, and stock. Um, one can make the argument for running extended mag, because you do run out of ammo pretty quick. Uh, if you guys remember the trailers for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, um, back when they had all the trailers in leaked gameplay and stuff like that, this was the gun that got showcased a lot on campaign stuff like that, because it's a gun that... 3D prints its ammo, which is kind of cool, but you also do need scavenger for it as well, obviously, because it runs out of ammo very quick. Um, so that's kind of the setup on the gun. Let me know in the comments section down below. I know the majority of you guys, I'm sure, that are still playing Advanced Warfare, if any of you guys are, um, the majority of you guys are probably using the BAL or the ASM-1, and I can't blame you, but all I can say is, you know, try out the ARX, try out the IMR, it's not a bad gun, it's obviously not going to compete against the Ball or ASM-1, but it's kind of fun, it brings a little bit of variety to, to the game, and makes it slightly more enjoyable, but obviously I've been playing a lot more Destiny than any other video game right now. Um, like I said, it is Saturday, so I might hop on the Halo 5 beta here in about an hour or so, because it goes on Sunday, the Halo 5 beta leaves on Sunday, and then I won't be able to play Halo 5 until December 2015, so I figure I might get some gameplays on there, stock them up, things like that for the future. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, I would appreciate that so much, and uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your work week, keep grinding guys, I know it can be hard sometimes, you don't want to go to work, you don't want to go to school, things like that, but gotta make that money, gotta get that education. And uh, wish you guys all the best of luck this week. And I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Alright, peace out guys.